salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Salute to all the independent viewers. Please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bell, share some videos. Ladies, stay spiritual, stay beautiful. Trolls, only God and your mama can love you. And we just going in today. We just going in. All right, we just going in. So here we go. There's three things that's bothering me with this whole T.D. Jake situation. And I know it's starting to get old, but there's always new developments. There's always things that we fail to pay attention to beforehand. And we go back and we look at things again and you notice other things. And y'all excuse me, you know, I just, um, I woke up on my J. Cole. I had to go fix my crooked smile, my crooked, my crooked grin. You know what I'm saying? I had to go get my teeth fixed and my mouth is hurting and yo, but everything is looking nice. I'm impressed and God is good. All right, with that being said, there's always things that we overlook essentially. Now, at first we were all wondering why he would be at these parties. But I think this video right here is proof because I don't even think this is a real police officer. And he's not moving in the traditional manner of a man when he dances. And this paints a picture of T.D. Jakes with his hand in his pocket a little deep down there as if he was on um, readjusting or maybe he was excited, allegedly. All right. So fair use. I'm going into a couple of things today that we haven't paid attention to. Now, I want y'all to notice, I can't play this too long, but I want y'all to notice how the cop moves, how T.D. Jakes is shaking the leg that his hand is in. Fellas, come on now. Fellas, come on now. We know what happens when we see something we like, fellas. And I'm speaking to the heterosexual man, okay? I'm speaking to the heterosexual man. We know we have to make these adjustments. We know we don't want to be seen walking around like this, so we stick the old hand in the pocket. And he's in front of lots of people and lots of cameras. So the smartest thing to do is what? Stick the hand in the pocket. But this explains why people are coming out saying that he was even hanging with male strippers at PD's freak-off party, allegedly. Male strippers. Well, this certainly could pass for a male stripper to me. Let's see. Let me turn the volume down. He is not moving in a traditional manner of a man. Look at T.D. Jake's hand. Look, look, y'all. That hand is a little deep like he's holding on to something. Look at the grin on his face. He's looking at this man like he's some, some, some Eminem, some, some, some Skittles. That's a Reese's peanut butter cup standing in front of him. That's what T.D. Jakes is looking at. Allegedly, that's what it looks like to me. He looks too happy. Does this look like traditional man movement right here? Does it? What man is going to be dancing to? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Look at the hand. Look at the hand. That hand isn't just in his pockets. That hand is not just in his pockets. Look at the crease in his pants, y'all. That hand is just not in his pockets. See, I, I, I want to touch on different things today. And I keep telling y'all, this is God cleaning his pulpits. This is God cleaning his pulpits. Okay. Now, let me touch on something else. Now, another thing that bothers me is that this man has yet to come out and say that it wasn't him. That he was not there. He has not refuted anything at all and that bothers me because it's almost like okay well i don't want to stand in front of y'all and lie you know so why isn't he saying anything why isn't he saying anything at all okay here's what i want to show y'all next all right and this brother here is pointing it out so i'm gonna go to his page i'm gonna go to his page salute to this brother right here uh let's see i'm gonna pause that Let's make this a full screen. Salute to this pastor right here. Salute to this pastor. All right. Salute to this pastor. Let's 
Sorry, pastor. Don't mean to come in your house and, you know, not wipe my feet first. So definitely look him up. But I saw that he was addressing it. Now, do we see this symbol? I told y'all in the video when P. Diddy laid his head on T.D. Snake's chest, that right before that happened, he shot an Illuminati, uh, Illuminati sign. So when I asked y'all in that video, why would a prominent pastor like T.D. Jakes have a 10-year tenure, tenure as friend? Let me get this right. A friendship of a 10-year ten ten tenure, tenure with P. Diddy, who has known to be linked to homosexuality, I wasn't saying you can't be friends with a gay person. The next line out of my mouth, well, you can argue it's the Illuminati. It is Hollywood, and I would tell you you're right. See this symbol? So I'm telling you, there's something going on here. And we all know in the music industry, we all have heard stories, even from Dave Chappelle, okay, about what these people try to make you do and what you have to do for fortune and fame. You sell your soul to gain the world. And there was someone who left a comment who said, what does it What does it profit want to? I can't get it right, but that's just a spoke. It was a Bible scripture, basically like selling your soul, like gaining the world, but selling your soul. Okay. And that's how I look at this situation right here. There's lots of things we're not looking at. So we saw his movement with this. I'm going to call him the alleged stripper cop. All right. We see this symbol right here. That's the pyramid, people. You know, that's the pyramid, all C and I. This is the elite class, the higher ups right here. All right. And we've also touched on the fact that even though he said he was not going to address this in the pulpit, he did, but he never ever came out and denied anything. He just said he's not in trouble. He just said he's not in trouble. So is he trying to prepare the people to get ready to be disappointed? Sometimes we really have to look at things a little bit deeper. I have more sound bites to some things too, but you know, I'm a little afraid to play these things. I'm very afraid to play these things. I'm not even going to cap with y'all. Very afraid. But with that being said, you know, y'all leave your comments in the comment box. Let me know what you think. Um, there is a lot coming out here, people. There is a lot coming out. <clears throat> Just know God is working. God is good. God is cleansing his pulpit of this toxicity. And this isn't me judging. This isn't me judging at all. At all. This is not me judging. This is just me simply saying that God will show up and show out every time. And that's exactly what's going on. So, with that being said, y'all get y'all one-on-one. Get y'all one-on-one. Get y'all one-on-one with y'all higher power, the G-O-D. You know, get, get, get your one-on-one on with God, the creator of everything, man. The man who we should love like God, man. The man who shows us how to love. The man who shows us how to respect. Okay? Stay prayed up. Stay blessed up. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Stay meditated up. Stay protected. Stay real. Stay woke. Stay uncut. Be inspired. Be great. And you're, you're the image of God, people. You're the image of God, baby. So be you. Why would you want to be anything else? Ah, Shay. Shout out to the new subscribers.